Then we also want to use EQing, of course, and to give you an idea what EQing is about, uh, it's basically about making space for the next track. That's how I look at it. So I want to make space for the mixed track when I'm playing my play track. Um, I do this by reducing the volume, uh, but I also want to create like a seamless blend that's why I also work with my frequency ranges, which is represented by my EQ. So I will typically reduce my lows to make space for the low part of the new track, of the, of the mixed track. Uh, and then I would also, um, it depends on the track itself, I would adjust my mids. Typically when there's still vocals, you want to uh, key out the vocals by using your mid adjustment. And the highs also, um, the highs are not in this uh, graphic here, but uh, you can use the highs also, it depends on what's happening there. So normally, uh, when I reach my mix start, I will, I will gradually get, uh, bring down the low part of my uh, mix track and go down with the volume slightly. I will come in with my mix track by, with very low, uh, with, with keyed out uh, low frequency um, bring up the volume, adjust the mids accordingly, but normally the volume and the mids go together, so no need to adjust my mids in my mix track normally. So I will bring it up to, let's say, 80% uh, and go down with my play track to 80%, so I, my overall volume remains the same. And then I will, first of all, I will kind of cross-fade my lows. So I will bring out the lows in my play track and bring in the lows in my mix track. Uh, and after the end of the mix, I will kind of fade out, sneak out with my play track, and my mix track will be full on. Uh -huh.